the big mistake, the fatal mistake that many students make in the critical reading section or any reading they do in general is skimming. Now skimming, of course, is a useful tool. I don't want to completely knock it. It has its place. But it can turn into a bad habit if it, you skim everywhere, especially when you're doing critical reading. Uh, skimming is not something that is just trivially easy to do. Skimming is a skilled activity. Skimming, what is skimming? Skimming is identifying what is important and ignoring what is not. Well, it is not at all trivial when you're reading something for the first time to determine with a quick read through what is important and what is not. That's the whole reason you're reading it in the first place. So skimming is something that when you're skilled in a discipline or when you're familiar with a particular subject that you can do. But for our purposes, skimming is really useless for, for the critical reading section. And why this is kind of an uphill battle is in the culture we live in, right? So the internet with blogs and Facebook and Twitter, it's a skimming culture. We're, we're just drowning in materials or drowning in stuff that we have to do skimming. And skimming is necessary, but if we apply that to the critical reading section, we're going to get our butts kicked. Um, and a good book that explains this is, I mentioned, I just wanted to put it here, is Nicholas Carr's The Shallows, pretty much talking about how the internet is affecting our brains in this way. And I think you can see the results of this is in the continually dropping uh, critical reading score. So right now it's at 496. Uh, as the average, and that's been going down over the years. I think it's only going to get lower because the critical reading is not something that's practiced often in school and certainly not out of school. So why does this matter? Why is skimming a problem? Well, I'm going to use skimming here, uh, or the problem with skimming, to illustrate uh, the issue in a math problem. Now, you might find it strange that I'm using math problem here, but I think it'll be clear why in a second. So let's read this question. A number is called even odd if it is halfway between an even integer and an odd integer. If x is an even-odd number, which of the following must be true? Okay, so we're not going to actually go through the question. Uh, what I want to highlight is what would happen if you were skimming this? You would never skim a math problem, right? Because you, every word matters, right? So if you uh, misread the halfway even and odd, if you misread or don't even read it all, the must be true, or if you gloss over some of the other more important parts of this question. How would you ever be able to answer this accurately, right? It'd be very difficult. The same is true, if not more true, for critical reading sections. So if you don't skim math questions, and I almost guarantee you don't, and if you do, that could be an issue you might be having. But if you don't skim math questions, why should we be skimming critical reading questions, critical reading answers, and in indeed even the passage itself? And unfortunately for a lot of us, skimming is not something we do consciously. It's just a habit we've built up that we have to realize we have and we need to break. So what it comes down to in the end is this idea that I'm going to uh, repeat again and again is the precision of language. Language can be precise. Sometimes it's seen to be this really fluffy thing, but every word, especially in the critical reading section of the SAT, counts. And sometimes a single word can make all the difference between getting the answer right and getting the answer wrong. So you really have to break open your typical habits with reading and get past the skimming, get past the superficial reading and really buy into what I'm saying here about you have to get deep into the reading, deep into what the words are saying and the precision of language. And that's what's going to make you successful in this section.